guys, welcome back to my channel. But if this is my first time meeting you, my name is Kimia. Thank you so much for joining me today for a huge closet clean out. I would say my style has changed the most in the past year and I haven't seen or been with any of these things in these boxes, which I will show you at one point today for over a year. And it is time that I go through them and I've fallen in love with so many new pieces. So I definitely need to find new homes for these old pieces. We're gonna do a huge closet clean out slash declutter. I'm gonna be a little ruthless this time because there's things that I've held on to just because I like them, but I really don't wear them. I'm so happy to say that this video is sponsored by Poshmark, which is a free app and website that you can buy or sell fashion, beauty, or home items. And I've been using Poshmark for about two years now, and it is such an easy way to clean out your closet and make use of the pieces that you no longer use or love. And you can also sustainably shop because they have so many brands on there. If you're in the US, Canada, or Australia, be sure to click the link below in the description and you can download Poshmark and you can also shop my closet, which is at one Kimmy's closet, or you can shop any of your favorite brands because they have every single brand on there since so many people are selling through the app. They also offer complimentary authentication of purchases of $500 or more. So if you're buying or selling designer pieces or brands, you don't have to worry about the authenticity of it because they take care of that for you. If you're interested, use the link below to download Poshmark. And if you're in the US, you can shop any of the pieces that I share in this video in my closet clean out. So I'm gonna start with these sweaters and pants. Okay. <laughs> Now we have the first box. I'm gonna go through everything. I have a mirror here so I can take a little look. I like this. Guys, this was my favorite purchase from Reformation. I loved it so much that I never ever wore it. I will gently place this on the ground. <laughs> that needs to go. I've had this for five years. Yeah, I remember I wore this on at Thanksgiving. I still love it. <laughs> Some of my Zara pieces I just can't part with. This is such a conversation starter. Every time I've worn this top, a stranger has talked to me. But is it like my style anymore? It's pretty cute. Look at me trying to tuck them in pants. Okay, this is a problem. I kind of want to keep everything. <laughs> this shirt, do you guys remember this? Um, I got this last year, last fall season. Here's another Reformation shirt that I loved very much when I first got. But I do this thing where I like to keep all these like casual shirts, but I'm just like, will I wear this again? Ugh, I still like it. Oh, I love this, but sad, so sad. I liked it so much, again, that I chose to not wear it. This would look so good with dark brown faux suede shorts, which I don't have, but I could picture it and it would look so cute. This is so cute. I only wore it a handful of times, but I kind of like it. You know, with like a little bralette, it could still be really cute. Another maybe. I suck. I bought this skirt when I was working at Nordstrom. It was always a little too big and it's not really my style anymore. This little faux fur bomber. This is cute. I like this a lot. This is also from Zara and it's also four years old. I still like it very much. This little camisole, I love this. I remember when I got it, I was so in love with it. Now we're moving on to the jeans. Um, I'm going to have to try them all on because my size has changed in the past few years and I want all my jeans to fit me perfectly and if they don't, they need to go. This is a key piece that I need to try on. These ones these redone ones. I'm now a size 25 in redone and these are a 26. So these need to be tried on. These are some black trousers. I actually wear those. These pants were loose for me last year. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be looser for me this year. What about these pants? These faux leather joggers from Lulu's that I wore so, so much. I love them. I got nicer recycled leather pants by Goldie this year and I don't need more than one. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this. Oof, I love these pants. My number 21 vinyl pants. These are really nice color actually. They're from Zara, but they need to be tried on. These are jeans by Mother. Need to be tried on. These Topshop Jamie jeans. I miss these pants. These are my trusty wedgie 501 Levi's. Still try it on because I don't know. And we are done. The first bucket. This is gonna be another really hard bucket. 
<laughs> These aren't called buckets. Dude, what is this called? A bin. A bin. A bin. Okay, love sweaters so much. I thought it was a phase, but it's still not a phase. I still love sweaters. This is so freaking cute. Low, black and white, we love, but... Oh, I still can't say goodbye to it. This is maybe. <laughs> this sweater, ugh, this sweater just like feels so nice. This one, this is so pretty. I got this from Mango, but again, another piece that I liked so much, I chose to never actually wear. Um, Love, I got this when I was working at Nordstrom. It's by the brand Nanushka. And I remember asking all my coworkers, you guys, should I get this, should I get this? It was split between half and half. And one of my coworkers distinctly, I remember she was like, no, you're not gonna wear that. She's like, I know you like it, but you're not gonna wear it. She's like, it's too, doesn't flatter your skin tone. And she was so right. I love the piece, but I just don't like this color on me. This is a little cropped number from from Ref. This one is by Isabelle Morant. After a long day, it would always get kind of itchy on my body. I was too worried to like snag it and stuff. So this sweater would kind of stress me out because I liked it so much. <laughs> this on the other hand, I'm like, yeah, I can't even consider getting rid of it. It's just too good. I never wore this, you guys. I got this from Amanda the Stories. Fell in love with it, but I never ever wore it. Ooh, this is hot. I'm feeling hot touching it. It's so cute. I think I would wear this. I love this sweater. It's by Mango, it's very soft. It's like fake wool, um, so it's not itchy and I love the color. And I wore this when I first moved to New York, so it does have a special space in my heart. This big potato sack Zara sweater. I still like this, you guys. Yeah, oh, it's very itchy. It's just like touching against my skin, it's very itchy. I am seriously being ruthless. Like these things I look at and I'm like, I still love them very much, but you can't keep them all, you know? This is a later pile. Sweaters and tops here. So this is a good one to go through now. This cardigan. Again, I have fond memories in this cardigan. This is a maybe. I love the sweater. Like, I really do, but I really don't reach for it that much. What is this? This kind of looks like a towel, but like a really chic cut-up towel. Oof, a blazer, a blazer that I loved very much when I got. I think the silhouette isn't really my vibe anymore. Cute little top, ugh, this is fairly new. My trusty Zara garbage bag jacket. I've had this jacket for, I think like six years now. <laughs> Still in love with it. so much already these pi piles have gotten a lot bigger the keep and the um, get rid of pile are a lot bigger I think this is maybe my second to last or maybe third box of clothes that I need to go through I don't know what to do with this pile. <laughs> Another piece that I liked very much, but I will likely never wear again. Um, I got this tailored so it would fit me and I think I wore it once. My obsession with New York prior to moving to New York, I have like five things that just say New York on them. Now that I'm here, I don't wear them. <laughs> what is this? Dress. I will not wear this again. Oh yeah, I think this was stuff that I wanted to get rid of last year. So there's definitely stuff that I want to get rid of this year. So I will just pop these. Here. here we have the keep pile. Here we have the maybe pile. This is the sell slash get rid of pile. Um, and then over there I have some jeans that I need to try on. All the piles have toppled over. <laughs> now I'm gonna tackle the closet. This blazer, you guys, I love this blazer when I got it. This just kind of sits in my wardrobe and I think that I can get more use out of 
a different blazer than this one. I think it's the color scheme for me. It's just not something that I really gravitate towards anymore. Okay, I love this one. This is by Zara. It's like super fun, embroidered, really cute, nice spring jacket. The one Reformation dress that I had a hard time uh, selling. This is definitely still a keep. So beautiful. So we're keeping that boho dress, but I'm gonna sell this boho dress. <laughs> This, you guys, I love these pants so much. I wore them so, so, so much since I bought them around maybe June of last year, right before I came back to New York. I shrunk them. Oh, I have to try these on. Also have to be tried on. These are faux leather green pants by the brand Rodevier, but they don't fit me anymore. Serena Vanderwitzen outfit that I made years ago. I think I made that video nine or ten years ago, my first Gossip Girl style video, and I got the skirt for my Serena look, and I still like the skirt very much. It oddly fits really, really well. It's from the brand Toby. Do any of you guys remember Toby? I used to love Toby. I used to shop there all the time. I can't get rid of the skirt. This is a maybe. I, I really like it though. Yeah, this is a key. This one I have to try on just because I don't know how I feel about it. So here is the pile of clothes that I'm keeping. This is the bulk of my wardrobe. This is the huge pile of clothes that I need to figure out what to do with. Either it's going to be on Poshmark or donated. I have to sort through that. This is the maybe pile. I have to go through these guys and try them on and see if they still work for me. See, I honestly don't know what to do with pile. Either they're too damaged or they're too out of season. And as you guys saw, I went through these and I've decided to keep these ones. I'm quickly gonna share with you some of the items that I had a very hard time saying goodbye to. And they're actually still some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, but because I don't wear them, I'll be selling them on Poshmark. So this is the first one. I love this blouse so much. I think it's stunning, but it deserves a home. It deserves someone who will take good care of it and wear it because it's just been sitting in my wardrobe and I don't wear it. So. Hopefully you guys will get this one because it is just so pretty. I love it. Every time I see it, I'm like, it's so nice. It feels really, really soft, but I just don't wear it. I'm such a sucker for a toile de joie print, <laughs> um, and I have no idea why I don't wear this blouse. Here is another top that I'm saying goodbye to. I bought this November last year from And Other Stories, and I love it so much. It's so cute and girly, but my style has just changed, and I don't see myself actually wearing this anymore. If you guys want this top, definitely get it. I think it's adorable. I've gotten compliments on it before. I'm a little lazy to switch out of my black bra, but other than that, it's very cute on. The shoulders, there's not much else I can say about it. This is hands down one of my absolute favorite tops in my wardrobe, but because I never ever wear it and I have so many white tops, I have to say goodbye to this one. It's stunning, I got it from the Couples. It's beautiful quality, it has zippers on both sleeves. I love the way it looks. It reminds me of Isabel Morant in the best way. And I had such a hard time saying goodbye to it. But as I said, if you don't wear something in your wardrobe, it should not be taking up space. It's a beautiful combination of lace and embroidery and it's a really nice shape. And this is the front, the back is so cute. And all in all, this is a hard top to say goodbye to. Here we have a wool mohair and poly blend sweater. It's slightly itchy because it does have wool in it and I'm not wearing anything under so I feel it, but it's very warm. It's really good for fall and winter, but I have never worn it. I remember I saw a lot of bloggers wearing it at the time and I had already bought it and I just never reached for it. So that's why I will be selling this one as well. That is it for this closet clean out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are in the US, Canada, or Australia, be sure to use the link in the description box to download the free app. And thank you Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye everyone.